Three one win here over Wishaw at Lockbourne Park. How how did you see that game play? Uh, firstly, obviously delighted for the three points. I think uh, particularly a lot of day like this. I think that was that was part of the team talk to the lads, just saying you're not going to get many games at this time of the year. So it's important when a game's on that we go and take it. Um, I thought first half we played played some good football until we got to the top third. Um, I've never seen us hit so many shots for 30, 40 yards. Um, actually quite disappointed in that and I spoke to them about that as well. So um, appreciate when it's on, it's on. But I think they all had about three or four shots each. Um, and uh, that's that's not us. So uh, reset them. A bit disappointed, I think, to go in at half time one each. Um, they've probably had one chance and scored it. Um, nice finish. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to say it's a bit too easy for them to get that off. but. Uh, they've worked it well and uh, the lads took his goal well, so fine. However, but for me, I thought the chances that we've created that first half to, to be going in at half time on each is disappointing. But the guy, uh, three points, mate, happy. Especially after a three week break, I mean, we've kind of started a couple of times after after having breaks before. I mean, you must be delighted with the performance overall. Too right, and looking, uh, I think I was half, to be honest, I was half worried about the, the park and whether it would suit our style of play and if we'd be a wee bit more direct today um, and I don't think we had to, I don't think we had to change it up, uh, particularly in the middle of that so obviously um, we had two uh, experienced groundsmen in this morning um, and they are forking away which was which was great um, and look, there was a lot of work to get the, the game on the day, it just shows the leaps and bounds that the parts um, came on, obviously uh, John Lyne in a part um, the work that my uncle John's done as well on it and then Sean who's lying in a in a bed chilling the day. Um alright, he's in for a wee bit of surgery but um I obviously that goes well but look the work that everybody's done in the club. But I th I don't think we would be on the day if we haven't made that um progress in the last the last couple of months. So but delighted, I think it's held up really well. Uh, as I said we were allowed, we were able to go and play our game. Um bit disappointed again it took us so long to get a goal in the second half it actually felt like it wasn't going to come um we've missed three four really really good chances that at one each are sitting there going is this not going to be your day and then i think once that first one and uh, sorry the second goal went in and the third followed it right after it we're in a wee bit more control up until the last couple of minutes where they actually i think they put on some young lads and um their 20s are doing really well so um, you've seen the talent and the hunger that, that comes into that and um, they've got nothing to lose at that point so they had a wee go at us but no I looked delighted I thought lads were really good today we heard they had a very good second half uh, caused them a lot of troubles in the wing uh, we Duffy flung in last minute um, as well on his debut as well and I thought like they obviously we, we gave him man of the match as well I thought he was outstanding he's unlucky probably not to get a wee goal or an assist today as well uh, with his forward play but I think everybody was was good. Um, there's no no player out there that were, were disappointed in me. It was just that final third that we speak about. Uh, but look, I'll take the I'll take the three one. I'll take the three points. So I said it's really important that we might not even have another game this year. So um, when it's on, it's important that we pick up three points. But I'm, I'm optimistic for next week. Brilliant. No, thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.